This program has been brought to you by the following individuals. Host, producer, and CEO, Luke Jennings. Executive Vice President, Don Jennings. Grip, Eric Jennings. Historian, Richard Land. Technical Advisor, Joe Murata. Ugh. Hi, fans. Mean Gene Okerlund here, and you're listening to, uh, hang on. Got to find the, uh, thing. Okay, it's the, um, Monday Night Project with Luke Jennings. Ho, oh, what a podcast. Hi, this is Rob Bartlett, one of the original hosts of WWF Monday Night Raw and one of the top 10 worst wrestling announcers in history. You're listening to the Monday Night Project. Here's your host, Luke Jennings. Saturday night, the mother gives. Welcome to WCW Saturday night. All systems operating within normal design parameters. 96 New Year. David Taylor in this matchup right here against the Gambler. The U.S. Heavyweight Champion, the One Man Gang. Engage cybernetic generation sequence. Tonight on Saturday night. The world title on the line, the Booty Man and the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Tonight on Saturday night. Now function detected. System overload. The World Tag Team Champions, Public Enemy. Tonight on Saturday night. Mark Starr and Chris Kenyon, men good work. Tonight on Saturday night. Hello, what do you hear, what do you say? Hello again wrestling fans, welcome to the studios of The Old Bakery as we get ready to give you another exciting week here at our bi-weekly look at WCW Saturday Night, January to July 1996. This is Monday Night Project, I am your host Mr Luke Jennings, hoping the podcast to find you fine and dandy. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button on our home, the place to be wrestling network. Home of great shows such as Who's Next with This Ring, PTB Weekend Special, PTB Men, PTB Ends main event, wrestle tracks, and so many other great shows, including everything coming to you from the old bakery productions. You can find out more about the network on Twitter at PTB and Wrestling. You can also find them on all good podcast suppliers, as you will do our sister network, the North South Connection, bringing you such great shows as Row One, Seat One, Wrestling Warzone, The Jenny Position, Hail to the Keith, Cronoso, Alakatwa Keithy, Extreme Fury Dance, and so many other great shows covering a range of both wrestling and non-wrestling topics. You can find out more about the network on Twitter at NoSoPod Network. You can also find the Backbone Wrestling Network, bringing you such great shows as New General Mission, Ruthless Aggression, Highway to the Impact Zone, Territorial, Cross Up, The Shit Take, and more. They can be found on all good podcast suppliers, as well as Twitter, Backbone24. That is all one word, Backbone, and the number 24. You can also find us on all good podcast suppliers, Old Bakery Productions Network, where you can find everything in an archivable place, be it some old Monday Night Projects, if you want to listen to where we uh, started or where we ended on Monday Night Raw. Or you can listen to some Pure Rush with Passions or some Hamburg All-Stars or some In Your Houses or some Memphis Continental Wrestling Casts. You can do it a little bit easier over there on the old Bakery Productions Network. Uh, well, yeah, when you've done finding a good podcast to listen to, make sure you visit whenitwascool.com for more podcasts, articles, and much more on retro pop culture, comics, wrestling, movies, TV, toys, history, and more. And then when you're done, you can go and learn some stuff at the history of WWE.com, where you can uh, look at historicalness from the WWF, the WWF, the WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, Smoking Mountain, EC Dub, TNA, sorry, uh, WWE slash NWA. You can look at house show histories, TV shows, title histories, arena histories, you name it. Richard and Graham have got you covered. This week we're covering the 9th of March edition of WCW Saturday Night. Last week we covered the 2nd, where we saw title matches, handicap matches, faces, future main events, old-time rivalries, as well as all the other awesomeness from 1996. WCW, before we head down to ringside, let's give you a quick look see of what's been happening around the rest of the wrestling world this week. Um, this weekend, where did we last? We were on the 2nd, weren't we? Uh, so on the 4th of March 1996 in Memphis, Tennessee, Jerry Lawler defeated King Mabel via disqualification to win the vacant USWA Unified World title. On the 8th of March, ECW held their big ass Extreme Bash 96 in Queens, New York in the Lost Battalion Hall. In front of 1,200 people, they saw Kendo Nakasaki and Chris Michaels defeat Damien Stone and Joel Hartgood. JT Smith defeated Hack Myers, Chris Jericho defeated Cactus Jack, Taz defeated Mikey Whipwreck, ECW Tag Team Champions to Eliminators defeated the Pitbulls. 
Uh, Hooventut Guerrero defeated Rey Mysterio in three falls. Big Titan defeated Judge Dredd. ECW TV champion Tuco Scorpio drew Sabu. Bubba Ray and Dancers with the Dudleys defeated the Headhunters. ECW World Champion Raven defeated the Sandman. And then uh, on the ninth, so on the same night as today, ECW are running their Big Ass Extreme Bash in Philadelphia in the ECW arena. Again, drawing 1,200 people. And they are witnessing... JT Smith defeating Axel Rose, El Porto Recano and Damien Stone battling the Bad Crew to a no contest. ECW Tag Team Champions of the Eliminators defeating Hack Myers and Bubba Ray Dudley. Rey Mysterio Jr. defeating Juventud Guerrero in three falls. Chris Jericho defeats Taz via disqualification. Cactus Jack defeats Mikey Whitbrick in what I believe is Cactus's last ECW match. Ron and Don Harris battled the Pitbulls to a no contest. Sabu defeated Big Titan. EC Big Titan is uh, fake Razor Ramon. Uh, ECW Tag World Champion Raven defeated Shane Douglas. The Gangsters defeated Sandman and Two Code Scorpio and the Headhunters in a free way dance. So that's that. Uh, there's not really much to go over um, elsewhere. There's no, there was no Nitro this past Monday. But it's coming up because they were promoting it last week. I don't know. I still didn't find out why there wasn't a Nitro. Must have been a reason, but Nitro is going to be back this coming Monday, so there'll be plenty of talk about that. We're also building up towards uh, WCW Uncensored. We are about three weeks away, uh, but the Raw that did happen this week was episode 149, so it went unopposed. It was taped, but it did a 3.6, and it featured uh, Shawn Michaels defeating the 123 Kid, Justin Hawk Bradshaw, or sorry, Justin Bradshaw defeats Hakushi, and then in a non-title match, Bret Hart defeats Hunter Hurst Helmsley. He gets a seven on cage match. Uh, pretty good display here by the Fed. The Shawn Michaels versus 123 Kid was outstanding by 1997 US TV standards. I think they were 1996. And the main event was satisfactory enough. Unfortunately, JBL debuts on Raw, okay, which would only mean bad things backstage for WF in the long term. Also, the Billionaire Ted segments was a waste of time. Uh, yeah, so... This is Hakushi's, so this is JBL, this is Justin Bradshaw's debut. This is Hakushi's last match, I believe. So that's what they say. Let me just double check, <coughs> just to make sure. Uh, Hakushi, Hakushi, Hakushi. This is... Uh, he's got one more. Uh, actually, he's got two more. He's on the... That's going to be a week later. His last appearance is on the 2nd of March. No. 2nd of March. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that is, yeah, it's Harkushi's last... Uh, just double check. Yes, yeah, Harkushi's last. Because they recorded this before. Yeah, you know how tapings go. But yeah, this is Harkushi's. He's done now. Then he's back in New Japan. Oh, he's back in Japan. Uh, come the fall of 1996. Um, yeah, so that's that. Is there anything else to report from this week? Otherwise, we'll get down to business. Uh, what's happening on Superstars? Bradshaw defeats Fatu. Armour Johnson defeats Kerry Scott. The British Bulldog defeats David Haskins. Yokozuna defeated Denny Parton. Mark Kyle and Reginald Walker. Razor Ramon and Savio Vega defeat Tatanka on the 1 2 3 kid. Justin Bradshaw defeats Scott Demore on Superstars this week. So, yep, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. So we are uh, we're only taped by three days. We're going to be in the Macon, Georgia Coliseum. We're going to be in front of three thousand three hundred. Uh, we've got a dark match which we won't see, which is Chris Canyon defeating Kid Flash. Kid Flash would later become Billy Kidman. And we are yeah we're, we've got two, four, six, eight matches. We have got a four and three handicap. We've got a couple of tags. And we've got a world television title match. So, without further ado, let's head down to ringside and see what Dusty and Tony have got in store for us on this week's WCW Saturday night on the 9th of March 1996. Ladies and gentlemen, this is episode 67 of the Memphis Content Note of the Monday. <laughs> this is episode 67 of Monday Night Project. <laughs> Peace and this portion of WCW Saturday Night is brought to you by Skittles Bite Size Candies. Taste the rainbow of fruit flavors.
All systems operating within normal design parameters. Engage cybernetic generation sequence. So we're seeing a clip from WCW Pro from this morning. Ric Flair vs Sting. Sting's in the figure four leg lock. Did we see Pro? Got no results. I have got results for that. Let's play this match. Uh, that's saying Sting versus Barbarian. Luger's in the ring. Oh, over at the back of the head of Flair. Causing. Partner, a chance at being world heavyweight champion. Welcome, everyone, to WCW Saturday Night. Along with the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, I am Tony Schiavone. How you doing? It's good to have you with us for a great two hours of action. And as you saw at the top of the program, controversy reigns between Lex Luger and Sting. We showed you this morning on the pro the conclusion of Ric Flair Sting from last week. Lex Luger got involved. Oh, I see that was that because I was on WCW Pro this morning. Sting faced... Um Barbarian, but that's obviously footage from last week because we they cut us off last week, didn't they? So we had Sting versus Flair, and they cut us off. And obviously Luger came out and uh, just he attacked, he attacked Derek Flair. Once and for all, accept this challenge. Hopefully tonight we will find out whether he does or not, and I cannot wait. Hulk Hogan, the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and the Booty Man are all here in a big eight-man tag team main event as we go to the ring this week on Saturday Night. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the WCW World Television Championship and is set for one pound. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the lovely Val Kimberly from Macon, Georgia, the WCW World Television Champion, Johnny B. Hill. So coming through the mothership is the WCW World Television Champion. Native of Macon, Georgia, here in the Coliseum. Johnny B. Bad is uh, not happy with Kimberly. Paul, fans, we take a look at what happened a couple of weeks ago on Nitro. She came out all dressed in white with a white rose in her hand. And who was she looking at anyway? Well, you would have think he knew what was going on before now, asking her right here on Saturday night. Give me that old time rock and roll. Now, Kimberly said I So, uh, Nick Patrick's going to be our referee. This is the uh, aforementioned that we've been mentioning for quite a while. Johnny B. Bad's last appearance. Diamond Dallas played. You want a shot at my title again? I don't think so. I took your belt, I took your girl, and I took your money. What else you got left? Your temporary home at the YMCA? An old box of cheap cigars? What about an old Freebirds poster? You're never been shot. So they're obviously trying it. They were obviously in the, on the verge of turning Johnny B. Bad heel because he's acting very heelish and he's, uh, that promo was quite heelish towards uh, Diddy P. And I think this is one of the reasons why he leaves. But this is the uh, the result of him leaving. Lex Luger now coming up to face Jeremy Bad. Lick. Obviously, during, we said, said about this the other week, during the house shows over the last few weeks, Lex Luger has won the WCW title. Um, if we can get back. So... Lex Luger won the title on the 17th of February. He then lost it on the 18th of February. Which then... Um, um, Jeremy Bad then holds it. And then up until this point. And Luger is the champion for quite a while. 
uh, there should be television champion. He's the, he's champion till August, um, so it's not just like a transitional champion. He is a uh, a thing. But obviously, he's obviously was still one half of the tag team champions with Sting. It's nice to be in a big uh, a big arena here. What's that big arena? It's three, three just over three thousand uh, fans. Like Patrick holding up the um, coveted WCW Television title, a title that has been in existence since it has been in existence since 1991. Oh, that's the WCW one, isn't it? Uh, we need to look at the NWA TV title, don't we? TV. Championship. As some motorcycles go past. NWA TV. No, it won't let me look at the NWA TV title. But this title has been in existence since 1991. The first champion being the Z Man. Luger, both men wearing black tights, black uh, white boots. Obviously, uh, Mark Mero joined me bad with a few more tassels than Luger, but the uh, back body drops the Chicago native. The total package. Corner corner, I'll ship by be bad. Oh, but gets hit by a big back elbow as he came running in. Luger hooks the legs, puts his feet on the ropes. Nick Patrick sees, Nick Patrick sees. Nick Patrick saw and he stopped the pin. Luger now straddling Mero over the second rope. Throat first. Luger now uh, rubbing the eyes of Jeremy Bad over the ropes. No shouting at Kimberly. Oh, slingshots Mero off the uh, ropes. I keep. I'm watching. And in your house, I'm. I'm seeing him as Mero, so I'm very confused. It doesn't take a lot if you uh, know anything about these podcasts. <laughs> Miro, oh sorry, uh, Luger now the second kick to the ribs of uh, Johnny Me Bad. Drops an elbow. Hits the ropes. Drops an elbow again. Goes for cover. Kick up by Johnny Me Bad. A six man double strap lumberjack with straps. The booty man. The macho man. And Hulk Hogan will do battle. Against Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, and the Taskmaster. Later on, as you said, reverse chin look now by Lex Luger, slowing the pace down. That's what we need. Crowd getting uh, obviously behind Johnny B. Bad here in Macon, Georgia, for the Macon, Georgia native. A couple of elbows by Johnny B. Bad gets out. Oh, Luke Luger went for the knee, but Mark, uh, Johnny B. Bad held onto the knee. Got a two count, big close on by Lex Luger. Luger goes for cover. Does he? Yep. One, two, kick out. Luger with a chin look again. It's nice to actually hear the crowd and not some stupid fucking noises that we were having to listen to when they were in. Um, Centre stage. Johnny Bad trying to get up. Gets up to his feet. Breaks the chin lock. Top wrist lock now by Be Bad. Goes around and drops Luger with a back suplex. Trying to get to their feet. Luger's got a little more steam left in him. Luger first up to his feet. Big right under the gut by Johnny Be Bad. Right hand blocked one of his own. Left, left, left. Ooh, big right hand knocks down Luger. Luger's back up in the corner. Irish trip coming up by Jeremy Bad. No, it first by Alex Luger. Oh, chest first in the top turnbuckle. Goes behind. Kick. Jeremy Bad with a. Oh, set out power bomb. Lovely done. One, two. Kick out by Luger. Kick out by Luger. Nick Patrick was out of. Uh, he was out of the out of uh, position. <coughs> Jimmy Bad going to the top rope. Luger's up to his both feet. 
Lonely Bee Bear, double axe off the top. Goes to the cover. One, two, kick out by Luger. DDP and Jimmy Hart for some reason. Well, I don't know, but Dallas is still looking down on his luck. Go ahead, Johnny, right here with the move. Big high knee lift. The big knee lift. Million dollar knee there by Jamie Bad. Drop kick. Drop kicks Luger to the outside. Jimmy Hart's now on the apron. A slingshot, tied cross body by Jamie Bad. Takes down Luger to the outside. Referee's distracted by Jimmy Hart. DDP is on the outside. Oh, attacks uh, Jamie Bad. DDP. Oh, diamond cutter on the outside. Good lord. DDP now picks up the prone body of Johnny B. Bad and throws it back into the ring. Referee still distracted by Jimmy Hart. Luger's woozy. Rolls over. Hooks to the leg. One, two, three. We've got a new television champion. We have a new television champion. Johnny B. Bad Luger wasn't sure what happened. It doesn't matter. There's a stunt Kimberly, and it's all over for Bad. He is no longer the TV champ. Boy, his conversation too with Jimmy Hart while he went out there. I don't know what that was all. And no longer employed by WCW. Thanks for the memories, Johnny B. Bad. He's been here a good time. He's had a, he's been you know a good decent mid carder. So obviously uh, he had fallings out with those higher up than he. And that. Uh, Probably potentially to his downfall, but uh, he's off to pastures somewhat new, and he doesn't really have that much to do in WWF, so it's what it is. But uh, don't worry about we uh, we hardly knew ye. I hope you don't mind. He seems to be okay right now, but right now let's go to Lee Marshall at ringside to check out what happened, Lee. Well, wrestling fans, I've got a guarantee for you. To say disappointed might be the understatement of this Saturday night. Johnny B. Bad, all I've got to ask Shut you is, up. did you not know what happened? Shut up, I said! Diamond Bell of Paint! You cost me something that was really fun. To me, that life meant out. That was my world television title. Let's move where you didn't win it. You had someone steal it from me! And where were you? Oh, wait a minute now. Where were you? Chasing me for a shot. Well, Taysom, look no further than the end of your nose. I'm gonna follow you all the way to Uncensored. I'm gonna rip you limb to limb. Dallas, you're gonna realize once and for all, I'm gonna put you on a world championship record. And anybody else that gets in my way. Uh, I think that's the other way around. This is a bear. Have I got a deal for you? Oh, yeah. WCW calling cards are totally awesome. That's right. Get the Macho Man. All Hogan and Sting collector cards today through this special 800 offer. Dig it. Use these calling cards for prepaid access to the WCW hotline. Where you can call and roll with me, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. You can also get great savings on your long distance calls. These limited edition collector's cards are in great demand, so call 1-800-641-8277 right now. Oh, the Grand Canyon. I think I'll call home. <laughs> collect call from Homer? No way, man. I only accept 1-800 collect calls. Give me the times, Homer. Why, you little... Dial 1-800-COLLECT. It's the way to call collect. Cartoon Network's got the world's biggest collection of cartoons and a lot more. <laughs> if you don't get Cartoon Network, tell your cable operator you're tired of missing out. When they buried him, they thought they buried their secrets. But secrets have a way of getting out. He's still breathing. You know who I am. Just tell me. Robert Urich is the Lazarus Man. Saturday nights at 9 and Sundays at 11 on TNT. This is Tarzan. The true power of Earth and beyond. 
With Tars Parkus and John Carter, Tarzan calls the light to rescue Mars from the awful armies of the plant men and the call day. Only Tarzan has the power, but will good triumph or will evil? Tarzan! Tarzan, conqueror of Mars with awesome adventure discs. My favorite actors are the strong, silent types. Mm, mine are larger than life. They should be graceful. And they got good in public, too. Now at Burger King, Pocahontas Finger Puppets from the Disney hit movie, now for a limited time on video. Your kids can collect all six, one with every great tasting $1.99 Kids Club hamburger meal. And they have to be sophisticated. The $1.99 Kids Club hamburger meal, only at Burger King. Saturday night, back at the Control Center on our way to Tupelo, Mississippi for WCW's pay-per-view spectacular, Uncensored. Live two weeks from tomorrow, Sunday, March 24th, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Call now regarding availability. As you know, in a Chicago street fight, tag team champions Luger and Sting are going to be meeting the Road Warriors. And it's man versus woman, Colonel Parker squaring off against Medusa. You saw what happened here last Saturday night that led to this most unusual meeting. <laughs> meeting, I beg your pardon. Plus, we now know everything is going to be on the line in an I Quit match between former, I say former world television champ Johnny B. Bad. He just lost moments ago. That is going to be facing Diamond Dallas Page. Johnny putting it all on the line. The doll, the money, everything. DDP in his challenge last week said if he did not beat Johnny B. Bad, he'd hang up the the types. Yeah. Okay, and there's a question right now. Will Hulk Hogan accept the challenge to a doomsday match? We're going to have more later in this television program. Uncensored, Sunday, March the 24th, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Available only on pay-per-view. Call your cable company right now. Satellite dish owners, contact Turner Premier or DirecTV. More in the hour on Uncensored. You will not want to miss this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the following tag team contest is set for one fall. Introducing team number one, representing the Dungeon of Doom, both from the Kingdom of Tonga, Ming and the Barbarian, the faces of fear. The and the great... So we've got uh, tag team action coming up. We've got the faces of fear. We saw these two gentlemen team up for the first time in WCW, well, one of the first times in WCW last week. Coming out in their lovely uh, sort of tribal kind of uh, capes. Can't quite see, can't can't describe it, but it's just uh, they look ominous in their capes. David Penn's in the ring announcer. Randy Anderson going to be the referee for this contest. We're going to be seeing who the faces of fear are going to be facing. Sounds like the Road Warriors. Good lord. An animal! The Road Warriors! And what an ovation for the Road Good lord, this is going to be uh, four big boys beating the shit out of each other. Hawk and Animal getting a uh, thunderous. A thunderous uh, applause here in Macon, Georgia. Red and black. Uh, Spikies. This is going to be four big boys just uh, clobbering each other. You want to know where the beef is? Here's the beef. So faces of fear wearing matching uh, black tights, black boots with skulls on them. Red warriors are wearing matching red and black tights with black boots. Taking off their spikes. Hawk having difficulty taking his uh, spokes off. So Buzz Ringer, we are underway. Barbarian started for his team. Animal started for his team. Oh. Chopped there by Barbarian. I shot there by Barbarian and Animal. Good lord, what a power slam by Barbarian. Animal is a big boy to get up and over. Animal's back up to his feet, but he's woozy. Big headbutt by Barb. Irish whip now. Animal ducks a clothesline. Flying shoulder tackled by uh, Animal. Down goes Barb. 
kick by Animal in the corner. Irish up corner, corner coming up, reversed by Barbarian. Oh, he comes in, but he gets met by, met by a big boot from Animal, who in the clotheslines. Barbarian drops an elbow. Picks up Barbarian, tags in Hawk, full on Dragon Twist by Animal. Hawk comes in, pushes Barbarian into his corner. He tags in, tags in Meng. Both boys uh, shouting each other and sweating at each other. Clobbering now by Meng. Irish whip coming up. Picks up Hawk. Beautiful power slam there by Meng. But Hawk no sells it because he's a prick. Kick, shove. Irish whip now by Hawk. Power slam by Hawk. But Meng gets up. Anything you can do, brother, I can do better. Kick by Meng. Elbow shot. Forearm smash. Elbow smart. Hawk ducks the line. Randy Anderson uh, distracted by Animal. Oh, close line off the apron by Hawk. So they've still got that over the top rope disqualification bullshit. Good lord. Oh, a big close line there by Meng to Hawk on the outside now. Meng now rolls Hawk back in at the ring. Meng follows him in. Irish whip now by Meng. Ooh, double clothesline, both men go down. Men gets the tag at a barbarian. Barbarian now grabs Hawk by the head. Brings him up, he's going for a power bomb or a pile driver, he's going for something. Power bomb by barbarian. Tag at Meng. Meng's in. Barb's in, both men with double headbutts. Then goes for the cover. One, two, kick out by Hawk. Meng rams Hawk into the top turn buckle. Tags in Barbarian. Go for a spike pile driver, maybe. Spike pile driver from the faces of Fick. And that's big pile driver on Hawk. Gets drilled into the canvas. Meng, one, two. Animal breaks up the pin. Barbarian and Animal now brawling on the ring. Big kick by Barb. Takes down Animal. Double uh, double team now by the Faces of Fear. Meng's holding Hawk. Barb's going for something. Measuring him for a big clothesline maybe. Oh no! Animal uh, shoved Hawk out of the way which resulted in Barb kicking Meng down. Barbarian now attacking Animal. Hawk's going to the top rope. Barbarian's got Animal. Irish up by Barbarian. Oh, big flung close on there by Hawk off the top rope. One, two, three. LOD win. Nice little match. Nothing too spectacular, but uh, just four big boys beating the crap out of each other. Back to more exciting action here on WCW Saturday Night. New World Television champ and a very jubilant Jimmy Hart. Just exactly. You say you've got some big news. You've got to be happy, you little weasel. You know, Mr. Hotline Mean Gene Oakland, I've got a big surprise for you, baby. This is the greatest day of my life. Let me tell you something. Week after week out here, I have to watch the stinger whining and crying and complaining about Jimmy Hart and Lex Luger's affiliation, man. Let me tell you something. You know, he even went so far as to say, Lex, you've got to choose. It's either Jimmy Hart or the Stinger. Well, let me tell you something, Stinger. It's not going to be you, baby. It's going to be the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Because, you see, I've got a little piece of paper called a contract. What about the contract? Well, what about it? That means that Jimmy Hart's got the legal right to tell Lex Luger where he's going to go, who he's going to wrestle. I control his whole life, mean Gene. What is the point? That? What exactly? The point is this. You know, when Sting opened his big mouth a couple of weeks ago and said, Lex, why don't we take on the Road Warriors in a street fight oh, no, match? That was Luger that That's did that. That's not, no, it's not. That's why you're wearing a hearing aid, baby. That was Stinger who said it. Well, let me tell you something, big mouth. It's not going to happen. No street fight match. And you know what the big surprise no, is for you? No street fight match? I'm going to bring in the no greatest. No street of, fight? No street, read my lips. No street fight match. This is the greatest attorney in the world today, baby. Mr. Gary M. Juster. Tell this big mouth what it's all about. Baby. I have worked uh, in conjunction with Mr. Juster on many occasions. You handle much of the contractual paperwork of World Championship Wrestling. Gary, just exactly what is Hart talking about here? Well, what it is, Gene, and on behalf of uh, Nick Lambros, our general counsel and the board of directors, I'm here to announce that Jimmy Hart does indeed have a bona fide contract with Lex Luger. 
which allows him to enter into contracts for Lex Luger and handle all of his affairs. It's a valid contract. It's right here. He does have that authority, Gene. Well, it's, it's here in black and white, and apparently it's all on the up and up. It is indeed. He is out of a Chicago street fight. What is it? Get Lex Luger. I'm confused. I don't understand this. Are you a legal practicing attorney? He's a this barrister. He's an attorney. Is there some fine print here I don't know about? Here is the biggest moment of my life. I've got two belts sitting on my shoulder. I'm riding on top of the world. I might have to despair of agony. Does he want the Chicago street? Shut up. I don't understand. You haven't explained this to me. Good things are going to be happening. I don't understand. Why don't you guys get it sorted out here? Yes, show them your pecs, please, by all means, Mr. Juster. I apologize for all of this. Jimmy Hart and Lex Luger. I don't know what's going on as far as the Chicago street fight is concerned. We'll keep you posted right now. Let's get back to the ring. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, from Atlanta, Georgia, Hard Work, Bobby Walker. Bobby Walker, but dream as Bobby Walker makes his way in here on Saturday night. Can you absolutely fathom Jimmy Hart? I mean, now he's Sting doesn't have a partner. With he doesn't even pull the old power of the thing said the contract was there. Sting without a partner. I can't. I tell you what, it just goes along what I've been telling Sting, trying to talk to him when we're been in the arena. So we've got a debut here. We've got a hard working Bobby Walker. I believe he is a student of the power plant. He is. He's been, been wrestling since 1989. So they lied to us. They have lied to us. He's been a, Yeah, he was. Uh, he was in 1995 World War Three. WCW Saturday Night in 1994. Yeah, so he's been there for a bit. His first match. His first match. His first match was against Brickhouse Brown in PWF. <coughs> At Dusty's old promotion, Pro Wrestling Federation. Yes, Dusty's old promotion in uh, Thingy, Florida. And then he went to FMW. Uh, the 26th of July, 1991, Hurricane Walker defeats Ele Iji Izaki. Iji Izaki would later become Hayabusa. <laughs> He's got a couple of wins over a young Hayabusa. So yeah, so Bobby Walker's been about for a while. His uh, white tights, white boots going against Alex Wright. That's Vunderkind. Red trunks, black boots. Alex Wright gets out of the um, bar with a cartwheel and a floopy flu and then uh, one, two, pin in combination there by Alex Wright. Now arm bar and Bobby Walker. I believe if you listen to Between the Sheets, I think Bobby Walker was part of the Racial Discrimination Act. Of how he was, um, there's a, there's a whole thing. How he was, I think I can. I think if you Google him, uh, that will tell you. I'm pretty sure that he was, um, he was got rid of, and it was all a bit dubious. Uh, in 2000, Walker, Sonny Ono, Hard Body Harrison, and several other performers filed a lawsuit against WCW alleging racial discrimination. Walker stated that his Caucasian opponents were told to make him look bad and that he was told that he would never hold a championship belt. He also stated that he was paid less than many of the company's Caucasian wrestlers. The suits also stated that African-American wrestlers were made to look loud, obnoxious, pompous and shiftless. On April 3rd, 2001, a judge ruled that WCW had not committed fraud or breached the contracts of the plaintiffs and the discrimination lawsuit could proceed. Because the WWF, now WWE, had purchased WCW after the lawsuit was filed, Walker's lawsuit lawyer stated that the plaintiffs would pursue legal action against the WWF. This lawsuit was eventually settled out of court. And Alex Wright gets the win with a dragon suplex. Hard body walker on the top rope. Alex Wright catches him, slams him off the top rope. And we get to see 
German suplex there by Alex Wright. One, one, two, three. Alex Wright gets the pin with a German suplex. How Medusa decked the Colonel next on Saturday night. Would you leave me alone? I don't think we missed a lot of the match. I just wanted to like, just let you, because obviously that's an important part of wrestling history that probably never gets talked about. I know they had a, I think they've had a Patreon special about it over on uh, Between the Sheets, patreon.com forward slash Between Sheets. Go and uh, give Chris and uh, Bix a listen. Each and every week they cover a time period in history. Uh, they look at... Um, so last week they covered 1994. Oh, sorry. Well, as I'm recording this, they last week they covered 1995. So recently they've done uh, July 23rd to 30th, 1995. July 17th to 21st, 1999. July 10th to 16th, 2003. Um, so they talk about that week and they sort of go through what was said on the sheet so Dave Meltzer may have said such and such was going to happen they go oh actually that didn't happen why did Meltzer think that or such and all that kind of stuff so it's a very really good list usually very long they cover WWF, WCW, ECW independence if there's any independence around um, international as well so a very good listen if you do like a long informative podcast that is Between the Sheets available on all good podcast suppliers and patios free for 15 days keep it for the special low tv price of just 1.99 use your credit card and get this stanley tape measure absolutely free other volumes will follow keep only those you want the new home repair and improvement series from time life books we've made the best even better call 1-800-360-9977 now to get dex porches and patios for just a dollar 99 that's 1-800-360-9977 So how many high school boys does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> what a light up your life? Yeah! Give me those slim jim! Turn on the spice! <laughs> Baby, you took the dice! Need a little statement? Snap a door slim jim! A friend of mine told me, try America Online. I said, why? I've got a computer. He said, try it. You'll see. It's simple. Every time you sign on, welcome. It tells you if you've got mail. You've got mail. Want to send some email? Type the message. Click here, and it's done. I like this. With one click, I can browse all kinds of great features on America Online. I've gotten help with my golf swing, planned my next vacation. I even get stock price updates every 15 minutes. America Online has over 100 newspapers and magazines, everything from Business Week Online to Cycle World, and I can browse them all. With America Online, you can point and click your way across the internet, and their web browser makes it easy to explore the World Wide Web. Call the toll-free number and you'll receive your free startup kit and 15 free hours to look around. It's worth a try. You'll see. To try America Online free, call 1-800-509-4343. You'll receive your America Online startup kit and now 15 hours free your first month. Call now. Well, fans, as you know by now, we have a special added match. It is man versus woman to Uncensored coming up on pay-per-view on Sunday the 24th of March. Medusa will take on Colonel Parker. There may have been a love interest there at one time, but right now that's all for naught as it panned out last week. Close your eyes. For a big surprise, Curtis. Yes, give it to me. Hey, hurry, hurry! What in the world? Just a second, Medusa. I thought you and the Colonel had a thing going on. What's Listen, up? Listen, you scum sucking, boring individual, two timing, boring twit. I want a match with you now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Parker down on his back. He just, you laid a, a real haymaker in there. The following tag team contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Lord Stephen Regal. First, from Stoke-on-Trent, England, Earl Robert Eaton. His tag team partner from Yorkshire, England, Squire David Taylor. They are the Blue Bloods. Got some uh, British royalty here. We've got uh, Bobby Eaton from Stoke on Trent. <laughs> Dave Taylor from Yorkshire, that's legit. And uh, Lord Stephen Regal bring him to the ringside area. I 
pretty much doubt Bobby Eaton ever went to Stoke on Trent. Can't say I blame him. I've been once. That was um, bad enough. It's a historical place, but it's a bit of a, bit of a shite hole, as we call it over here in the jolly old England. Old Stephen Regal not happy with the uh, the crowd here in Macon, Georgia. Old Stephen Regal dolled out in a uh, suit and tie. We're going to be seeing a uh, styles clash here. Republic Enemy versus Blue Bloods, apparently. And his name is uh, Vic Finley, the Belfast Bruiser. We'll talk more about that as we go back to Dave Enzer. Your opponent from South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Flyboy Rocco Rock and Johnny Grimes, Republic Enemy. It's Public Enemy time. And it's rumbling in here. I guarantee tonight on Saturday night. Public Enemy. Public Enemy coming through the militia, waving their hands in the air like they just don't care. Flyboy Rocker Rock and Johnny Grunge coming down the oil way through the mist. Fans ever dancing their arms around. Obviously not as, pop not as popular as they were in ECW, but they're uh, definitely popular. And they stop off halfway down the aisle and grab a table. Randy Anderson, the referee. Sitting the table up against the guard rail. Oh, Bobby Eaton and Dave Taylor coming out to attack the public enemy. Bobby Eaton rolls Rocker Rock into the ring. Is that Rocker Rock or Johnny Grunge? Yeah, Rocker Rock. So Rocker Rock wearing a purple, purple uh, t-shirt, black shorts, black boots. Lord Stephen Reg. Sorry. Uh, Earl Robert of Eaton, red and blue tights, red boots. Takes in Dave Taylor, red and blue trunks, red boots. Double eye strip now by the Blue Bloods. Rocco Rock ducks the clothesline. Double clothesline by Rocco Rock. Johnny Grunge is in, he knocks down Bobby Eaton, knocks down Dave Taylor. Oh, super kick. A super kick party now by Rocco Rock. Lord Stephen Regal's on the apron, but he just ducks the, uh, ducks the clothesline. <coughs> Everyone's waving their hands about. We go uh, getting uh, feisty with some of the crowd here in Macon, Georgia. Some fans here. Split a count, the big eight-man main event here on Saturday night. And Hulk Hogan is here. The Macho Man and the Booty Man. As they prepare for the six-man. Johnny Grunge is now in. Going to against Bobby Eaton. Need the bread basket by Johnny Grunge. <laughs> Punch to the head. Rake of the eyes by Johnny Grunge. Irish whip corner, corner by Johnny Grunge. Hard goes Bobby Eaton. Comes out though and swing a neck breaker by Bobby Eaton. Beautifully done. By Earl Robert of Eaton. Bobby's going up the top rope. Bobby Eaton's going up the top rope. He's going for the Alabama jam. And. Oh no! Knee to the side of the head. Beautifully done by Bobby Eaton. Just give one, two. Rock a rock breaks up the pin. Taking to Dave Taylor. Dave Taylor now spins Rocker Rock around. Drops him with the neck breaker. Johnny Grunge, I do apologise. Dave Taylor picking him up again by the head. Lovely European uppercut on Johnny Grunge. Full arm dragon twist by Taylor. Now with an arm. Oh no. A very, uh, a very slight version of the cross face chicken wing. Takes in Bobby Eaton, who just punches Johnny Grunge in before he comes in the ring. Oh, big right hand by Bobby Eaton. Rocks Johnny Grunge in the corner. Oh, who's that? Oh. Dave uh, Finley. Oh, he attacks Dave Taylor. He's after Regal. He's running around the ring. He's chasing uh, Regal around the ring. Double R ship now by the public enemy on Bobby Eaton. Double back body drop. Finley chasing Regal out of the uh, out of the mothership. Public enemy now trying to set up a table. Dave Taylor can't get back in the ring. Public enemy setting up the table. Is Bobby Eaton going for a table. Good lord. Bobby Eaton is hardcore. 
Who are going to be setting up the table in the middle of the ring. Lay and Bobby eating on the table. Rocco Rock going up the top. Rocco Rock going up the top rope. Rocco Rock going up the top rope. Drive by sent on. Through Bobby eating through the table. Referee rings the bell. Referee rings the bell. Probably going to be have been disqualified. Of a disqualification, the Blue Bloods. The Blue Bloods win, and we have had so much action in only four segments. More to come. The return. Eddie Guerrero puts me on next on Saturday night. All right, folks, we're back with more exciting action on WCW Saturday Night here on TBS. Hey, attention, Hotline fans. I've talked about this one all day long and will continue to do so. A major announcement this past week has knocked the wrestling world on its back, so to speak, as a former world heavyweight champion has announced his retirement from wrestling. I'll tell you who it is and why some people are very happy to see this guy go. I'll have that story and the one about a recent warrior sighting during my exclusive hotline report at 1-900-909-9900. We're open right up until midnight at 1-900-909-9900. A buck 49 a minute. Kids, get your parents' permission, but call right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this special return match is set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Hortman from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, the Crippler, Chris B be sure to join me and Gene on the hotline up until midnight tonight. Time to bring him, of course. We've got a return match from the last week. We're now seeing footage of this match. We're seeing footage of Eddie Guerrero versus Chris Benoit. Last week on WCW, Eddie Guerrero got the head scissor takedown and the jackknife pin. Benoit was then not happy and uh, demanded to have this uh, rematch. Nick Patrick's our referee. I think Nick Patrick is referee. Yeah. Eddie Guerrero now coming through the mothership. A big pop. Not a big pop, but a good, uh, big cheer. Eddie Guerrero is a lovely uh, white and red jacket. <laughs> it's the jacket. Eddie Guerrero uh, pointing fingers. Benoit's going to be wearing red tights, black boots. Eddie Guerrero's going to be wearing red, white, and black singlet. White boots. Both men in the ring. Okay, Patrick rings the bell, and we are underway. Just a strength for now to start up. Benoit taking Guerrero down to his knees with the test of strength. Eddie Guerrero back up to his feet. Benoit shouting at Guerrero. Benoit pushing, trying to get Guerrero back down to his knees. Benoit pushes Guerrero's... No, no, Guerrero uh, pushed Benoit's hands on the mat and then stomped on the feet. Stomped, stomped on his fingers. Couple of beautiful mullets here in action. Three beautiful mullets, actually, because you've got Nick Patrick. With men circling. Call no boat. Oh, takedown by Benoit. WCW TNT, I'm going to tell you it's going to be live Monday night. Power. Right? Power. See that they're using that. Yeah, he's a crippler. You brought up a good point about the questions he's brought up about the horsemen. Two of the horsemen are in the main event, eight man later on tonight on this telecast. But they, I mean, how many times have we seen Benoit team with Arne Anderson or Ric Flair? Benoit now clobbering on Eddie Guerrero. Oh, forearms, headbutts, you name it. Benoit's using it. Oh, beautiful knife edge shot there by the crippler. Benoit now uh, using the ropes to choke Guerrero. As I'm saying, yeah, it's just very, just, yeah. Irish up there by Benoit. Eddie Guerrero ducks. Herrick, oh, heads just a takedown there by Guerrero. Oh, 
Oh, he's gone. Don't go. Oh, no, the feed has switched a bit. Oh, backbreaker there by Benoit. During the break, we'll show you on Insta Replay. If not, more of this matchup after this timeout on Saturday night. The temperature inside your mouth is 98.6 degrees. The same as a sweltering jungle. Ugh. But the temperature inside a winter fresh mouth tastes. <laughs> winter fresh gum from Wrigley's. That lasts. Uh -huh. And lasts. Yeah. And lasts. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Try winter fresh gum for icy cool breath that lasts. It set the standard in do-it-yourself books. But now... We've made the best even better. Introducing the all-new Home Repair and Improvement Series from Time Life Books. With new color illustrations, step-by-step -step instructions, and a new spiral binding so books lay flat, it's never been easier to save money and create the home you've always wanted. You'll learn how to build a deck your family will enjoy for years. The tricks of the trade to install a new patio. Call now to examine decks, porches, and patios free for 15 days. Keep it for the special low TV price of just $1.99. Use your credit card and get this Stanley tape measure absolutely free. Other volumes will follow. Keep only those you want. The new home repair and improvement series from Time Life Books. We've made the best even better. Call 1-800-360-9977 now to get decks, porches, and patios for just $1.99. That's 1-800-360-9977. Things are changing, like the way we call Collect. Now millions of people are dialing 1-800-COLLECT to save on Collect calls. Hey, change is a good thing. 1-800-COLLECT. It's the way we call Collect today. Having a little trouble packing on pounds or getting noticed? Then drink this. General Nutrition's Pro Performance 2200 Weight Gain. 2200 pound packing calories a serving. Hey, be buff. Get noticed with GNC's Pro Performance 2200 cool. Weight Gain. Only at GNC. Announcing a powerful breakthrough of incredible proportions. Incredibly small proportions. New Actron, a powerful pain reliever with ketoprofen. Finally available without a prescription. Actron is so powerful, just 12 and a half milligrams are as effective as 200 milligrams of Advil or 650 milligrams of Tylenol. For headaches and body pain, new Actron. The pain reliever that's so small because it's so powerful. And this year marches in like a line and out like a lion as well because the wild one is still to come. Two weeks from this Sunday, WCW Uncensored and only on pay-per-view, Sunday, March 24th, it's the wild one, Uncensored from World Championship Wrestling. All right, back on Saturday night, Tony Schiavone, the American Dream. We're back. I don't understand why they had an uh, advert break there. It's a taped show. Surely they could have put a... Yeah. You know, it was WCW. Benoit in the control there. Stumping away in Guerrero, now picking him up in the corner. Snap mares him out to the middle of the ring. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head. So we are two weeks away from... Well, we're three shows away from Uncensored because we'll cover the 16th next week, the 23rd the week after. Or the, the next show will be the 16th, followed show will be the 23rd, followed show will be... Uh, a couple of matches from Uncensored. Oh, Guerrero slapped now by Benoit. And again. Oh, knife edge chopped by Benoit in the corner. Oh, and again by Benoit. Clobbering now. Clobbering in the corner. Nick Patrick's trying to get him out of the corner. Oh, forearm smash by Benoit. Benoit now have Chuck and Guerrero in the corner. Nick Patrick trying to get him off again. Benoit shoving it. Oh, Nick Patrick shoving Benoit back. Nick Patrick doesn't take shit from anybody. Elbow smash by Benoit knocks down Guerrero. Again, see the the test method back at right now. Oh, I should have been bad, 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 b
Some, um, some young uh, Canadian called Chris Jericho is watching this and going, I'm going to take that move and call it the Lion Tamer. Obviously, Chris Jericho is uh, in ECW at the Mint. I don't think we'll see Jericho. Uh, 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 Jericho. I don't think we'll see him. No, no, he's in ECW still. He debuts in WCW. WCW, 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 the end of August. So we would, yeah, we'll miss him by like a month. Oh, Benoit drops Guerrero over the top rope, on the top rope. Benoit walking around the ring, sticking his uh, four fingers up while the crowd stick the four fingers down. Oh, knee in the back of the head. Knocks uh, Guerrero off the top rope to the outside. Benoit's face goes out and follows him. Has to stick Patrick. Benoit rams Guerrero head first into the steel steps. Now choking him with the TV cord. Good lord. Benoit is not happy about losing to Eddie Guerrero last week. Chris Benoit now grabbing Eddie Guerrero. Rolls him back to the inside of the ring. Benoit now going up to the top rope. Eddie Guerrero in the middle of the ring. Benoit drops. Oh no, Guerrero moved out of the way. Guerrero just moved. Benoit was going for that dynamite kid-like headbutt. Eddie Guerrero, oh, Eddie Guerrero fighting now from his knees, but Benoit revert, replies. Forearm smashed by Benoit, forearm smashed by Guerrero. Guerrero's back up to his feet. Both men teeing off on each other. Guerrero now with an Irish whip on Benoit. Drops down, follows him. Oh, big back elbow. High paced, high speed back elbow there by Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero now picking up Benoit. He's going for it. Both men lock on the fingers, kick by Benoit. Guerrero, monkey flip, no. Up the top rope is Guerrero. Oh, flying head to take down again. Go for that same maneuver. One, two. Oh, Benoit kicked out this time. Benoit kicked out this time. Spectacular. Guerrero now puts Benoit in the corner, then on the top rope. Guerrero, no, Benoit slips down. Benoit's got Guerrero. Oh, drops him face first on the top turnbuckle. German suplex by Guerrero, by Benoit. No, rolls him through. Benoit, another German suplex, rolls around. Shades of uh, mid 2000 Benoit and WWF there, or early 2000s. Drops him with the third German. Goes for the cover. One, two. Eddie Guerrero puts his foot on the ropes. Eddie Guerrero puts his foot on the ropes. Hook the leg by Benoit. One, two. Kick up by Guerrero. Well, I'll tell you the thing. This, this thing has went back and forth. Nick and Tilt. Right here on Saturday night where the big boys play. Take a look at it out there, fans. Product is what it's all about. And it gets no better than WCW. Benoit putting Guerrero on the top rope. Go for a uh, super, duper, super duper plex, maybe. Benoit's on the top rope. Guerrero's fighting. Guerrero's fighting. Guerrero pushes Benoit down and off. Guerrero, big frog splash. One, two, three. Guerrero wins. Guerrero wins. Guerrero wins. The United States heavyweight title held by the Mexican champion and, of course, the man who's the U.S. champ, Conan. He's making his way over to Mean Gene Oakland, is Eddie. But I tell you, you can't get any better than what we just saw between these two men. Well, you see right here, he caught him and had him in a position where I thought he had to. One, two, three. Eddie Guerrero really rushed down and come back. Both men, great contest right here on Saturday night. The jackknife from the top. Eddie Guerrero, home from Texas. 
hooks the one, two, three on Chris Benoit. Could Eddie be the next U.S. Heavyweight Champion? We'll find out on Sunday, March 24th. Now let's go to Mean Gene Ogilvy. It seems we will. Tony Schiavone on Sunday, March the 24th, off Texas Live, and exclusively on pay-per-view. If there's one match on this spectacular card that has got to be a purest dream, it's current U.S. champ and also the Mexican title holder, Conan, facing the man we've just seen in action, Eddie Guerrero. What a warm-up for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you here tonight against Chris Benoit. The 24th, bragging rights, and a whole lot more as I see it. It is a gigantic opportunity for you. That's right, Mean Gene. You know, in life, you don't get too many opportunities. And I see this as a golden opportunity. So, Conan, I'm not taking you lightly. I never take an opponent lightly. I can't with you. You're the U.S. champion, and you're that for a reason. You just didn't get it out of luck. You got it out of skill, and, I, and, and because you had the opportunity. Well, I just want to say, I want to thank all the fans that are behind me and the people that have taken time out in their lives to help me out. So that's why I want to win this U.S. championship. I thank you, Eddie Guerrero, uncensored on pay for few March the 24th. Call your cable company now. More Saturday night when we come back here on TBS. Life Magazine called it the Harvard of professional wrestling. ABC's Good Morning America gave it a rave review. The WCW Power Plant will help you reach your potential. They'll train your body, work on your moves, and motivate you to be your best. The WCW Power Plant, the number one wrestling facility in the world. Call now to set up a tryout at 404-351-4959. Welcome back, everyone, to WCW Saturday Night. Standing by in the locker room area, Mean Gene Oakland with the Mega Powers and the Booty Man, of course, as they prepare for the big six-man lumberjack scrap match coming up this Monday live on Nitro. Hulk Hogan has to answer a question, though. Will he accept the challenge from the Alliance to end Hulkamania at Uncensored on March 24th? Well, you make no mistake about it, Tony. The bottom line with Hulkamania and Hulk Hogan, the Booty Man now coming into the camp of the Mega Powers makes this thing a little bit even. Hulk Hogan never backing down from any challenge. Telegrams being sent, phone calls being made. People at WCW running rampant trying to get this answer. And only one man has it, and that's Hulkamania. And I know what it's gonna be. Oh, you really do. Fans, we'll be going back to Mean Gene before we go there. Talking about Uncensored, just about two weeks ago on Nitro, this all happened with Hulk Hogan, the horseman in the Dungeon of Doom. She's going after Hogan. She's got handcuffs. She's got handcuffs. Hogan. Seeing uh, footage of uh, Liz trying to uh, handcuff Hogan to the top turnbuckle while Ric Flair whips him with a strap. W Monday Nitro setting the table for this Monday night at 9 p.m. on TNT and WCW Monday Nitro in a six-man strap lumberjack match. Yeah. Kevin Sullivan, the Taskmaster, Arn uh, Anderson, uh, uh, and Ric Flair to meet the Macho Man, the Booty Man, and you, Hulk Hogan, a busy time for you indeed. Well, you know, brother, you would have to show the footage and put more gas on the fire. Do you know what it feels like, lean, mean Gene, to be strapped with a leather strap, brother? No, and I don't want to. Well, let me tell you something, dude. After what went down the last time, that leather strap across my back we could say it took the cuffs off Hulkamania, brother. There are no more rules, brother. We've already started getting uncensored because of the double strap lumberjack match against the Taskmaster, Arn, and Ric Flair, the three dirtiest players in the game. There are no rules, brother. Straps on the lumberjacks, 
straps on the legal men in the ring, and anybody that's not sitting in their seat, such as you, will get strapped by the booty man too, brother. On the same subject, Hulk Hogan, I've just got to talk about it. The challenge, no. apparently, from this alliance to end Hulkamania. What about it? Do you or do not? Yeah, accept? yeah, yeah. I've heard about the alliance, the allegiance, to end Hulkamania. But it's not going to happen. The training, the prayers, the vitamins, and riding your Harley Davidson on the right side of the street are going to live forever. I'm going to sign anything, brother, at any time. So just forget about that telegram. What about that booty man with a strap in his hand? What we have here are false friends and true enemies, yeah. One zillion people tell a zillion lies, and the chemistry is only right between the mega powers and the booty man, because we are going to get crazy. Booty man. Oh, who better in the WCW to strap booty in a double strap lumberjack match than me, the wildest booty man. I got booty fever coming out of my soul. Did you get that, Gino Glenn? Do you understand? Or do you have to feel the rat? Snap out of it, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan. Well, you know, the Booty Man's on a mission. Not only is he going to keep the Mega Powers from exploding in the Lumberjack double strap match, the Booty Man has told me he's already got his sights set on the best booty in the WCW, and he's going to whip a lot of booty to get whatever he wants. So with the Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, the Booty Man, Come here, booty brother. What are they going to do when the booty man and the macho run wild on those three? Ooh, yeah. Everybody but Nelson Rockefeller in this one. Let's bring you up to date what's going to be happening this Monday night on WCW Monday Nitro. And be sure to join us this Monday live, WCW Monday Nitro, only on TNT, 9 o'clock Eastern time. It's a six-man double strap lumberjack match with straps. As the Mega Powers, Hulk Hogan, the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and the Booty Man beat the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, and Kevin Sullivan, the Taskmaster. The Road Warriors take on the Nasty Boys. Return match, Lex Luger and Johnny B. Bad will collide. Plus, the Giant takes on Hackstaw Jim Duggan. It's live, it's this Monday, only on TNT, it's Nitro. Get a video for Uncensored. Hulk Hogan's been challenged. We're going to get in the Doomsday Cage. Of Hulk Hogan. Ric Flair, question mark? I'm trying to find out what the alliance of to end Hulk Hogan is going to be consistent of, I guess. Arn Anderson, question mark? Yes! Arn Anderson just beat a great unbeatable Taskmaster? Question mark? See, Arn Anderson's got uh, quite a few victories over Arn Anderson, so... Question mark? He's done it before. Seen Hogan uh, beat Arn and Rick down and... Smash the giant over the top rope with a chair. Can he do it again? Find out at Uncensored. This Monday Nitro, double strap, lumberjack match, six man tag. It's gonna be Wilds and Bill. Oh, Ooh, yeah! Hi 
again, folks, back in the WCW Control Center, counting down to Uncensored. Live March 24th, two weeks from tomorrow night, available only on pay-per-view. First of all, perhaps the biggest name this sport has ever or will ever see, the immortal Hulk Hogan has just accepted a challenge for a doomsday match at Uncensored. Thank you, Vince. What is this? Hulk Hogan to meet four men in four cages in a progressive match? Is this bona fide? Thank you, Vince. Arn Anderson, Ric Flair, the Taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan, and the big 700-pounder, Loch Ness. From the Dungeon of Doom, we'll continue to keep you posted throughout the weekend and week on this ongoing story. I thank you very much. Plus, you now know that steaming little twerp, Jimmy Hart, has done it again through his power of attorney. Lex Luger out of the Chicago street fight. Sting now faced with getting another partner to face the Road Warriors at Uncensored. In addition, the just dethroned Johnny B. Bad is still going to be facing Diamond Dallas Page, but there is more at Uncensored one on one. Lord Steven Regal to meet a longtime adversary, the Belfast Bruiser. U.S. champ Conan is going to defend against the electrifying Eddie Guerrero. Man versus woman, Medusa to meet Colonel Robert Parker. Last year on Censored, so graphic, we could not air it on broadcast television. However, folks, however, you can see it live on Sunday, March the 24th at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, exclusively on pay-per-view. Call your cable company now. Satellite dish owners, contact Turner Premier or Direct TV. We're going to have more late-breaking news all day Saturday on the hotline as it pertains to Uncensored. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, from the Wall Street District in East Manhattan, New York, the King Wall Street. Deep joy, VK Wall Street is here. Is he sweating? He's got a big coat on, no one who's fucking sweating. VK Wall Street coming down to the ringside area. Gonna find out who his opponent's gonna be in a minute. But smiling, VK Wall Street. He's very smiley. Who's the referee going to be? Find out who Wall Street's opponent's going to be. Accompanied to the ring by the godfather of WCW, Teddy Long, from Baltimore, Maryland, Jumpin' Joey Maggs. Jumpin' Joey Maggs. Jumpin' Joey Maggs coming out of the ring, managed by uh, Teddy Long. Joey Maggs is looking very happy. Seeing the footage from last week. Where, uh, Wall Street was going up against Jim Duggan. And Jim Duggan got the win thanks to Sergeant Craig Pittman. Whether or not we're going to be seeing some interference from Mr. Pittman again today, I do not know. We'll find out. Randy Anderson's a referee. Muggle Wall Street. Uh, black single black boots. Jay Maggs, white trunks, white boots. Wall Street pointing his finger in the face of Teddy Long. Teddy Long, if you will, baby. Fellas ring away, away, open circle, call number top. Um, bar, arm ringer by Wall Street, escape by uh, Joey Mags with an arm bar of his own. Take down, arm bar, never say die on the, uh, the butt of Joey Mags. Wall Street gets to the ropes and the hold is broken. Oh, Joey Mags trying to get some uh, words of wisdom from Teddy Long, but that led to a distraction. Wall Street now attacking. Oh, beautiful uppercut. Right to the moosh. Irish right now by Wall Street. Elbow ducked by Mags. Into Gary by Joey Mags. Goes to cover one, two, kick out by Wall Street. Oh. Right hand by Mags, and again. Irish hit by Joey. Reversed by Wall Street. Mags ducks the back elbow, but he gets caught on the shoulders of Wall Street. Oh, Samoan drop. Wall Street crash, if you will. One, two, three. Wall Street wins with a uh, stock market crash. And he's sweating. He's very sweaty. Sports and more after this time out on Saturday night. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Tokyo, Japan, Pat Tanaka. Pat Tanaka's coming up to Goldberg's music. Hampton, Georgia, the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And of course, Steve Grissom pilots at R29, the Bush Grand National. Yeah, what a, what a great afternoon. That's unbelievable. Pat Tanaka. Legend of the wrestling business coming down to Goldberg's music. That is insane. Pat Tanaka, has he been here for a while? He's not, he's Hawaiian, but you know. He's uh, uh, been USWA. Disco Beaver, Disco Beaver, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been here since the beginning of the year. And he is here till 1998, on and off. Not here for like a full run, but he's here on and off. And he goes to Japan. Disco Inferno, Disco Forever sign in the crowd. Nick Patrick referee, Disco Inferno doing some disco dancing. Taking off his jacket and his waistcoat. White trunks, white Boots, I think. Wait, tight, sorry. Pat Tanaka wearing a uh, oriental garb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saturday Night Fever. We can't see it because there's a Ric Flair sign in the crowd. Disco Inferno, white, tight, black boots. Pat Tanaka is wearing... Uh, Black boots, black uh, sort of karate, uh, like a Bruce Lee kind of um, costume, but black. Bell rings, we're underway. Single leg takedown by Disco Inferno. Oh, neatly, neatly hamstrings. Disco Inferno trying to, take, trying to take the legs away from Pat Tanaka. Without those legs, he can't hit those uh, karate kicks. Oh, dropping the leg across the leg is Disco Inferno. Just going to now put in the leg of Pat Tanaka on the bottom rope and oh, drops away across the knee. Just going for no uh, applying some wrestling prowess here. Ankle pick now by Just going for no. Shoulders are down, so Nick Patrick's down checking the shoulders. One. Just going for no still with the ankle pick. Toe hold, if you will. Pirated out of here and nerve you to death, brother. I guarantee you, don't you think he came. I'm, I guarantee you, yeah, he's got some nerve, doesn't he? Pulling on the foot, Danny. Kick away by Pat Tanaka. Oh, cartwheel by Disco Inferno. Bit of disco dancing. Pat Tanaka's up. School boy by Pat Tanaka. One, two, three. Pat Tanaka wins. Pat Tanaka wins. That was fucking bullshit. I'm a fan of Pat Tanaka, but that, um, that was utter rubbish. Focus once again. All right, Jimmy Hart wants to talk. Yeah, that's all he does is talk. Speaking of another man that talks is Gene Oakley. Gene. All right, Tone Dusta, thank you very much. Uh, Jimmy Hart, I understand you want to bend my ear before you do, I think. Congratulations somewhat are in order for the new world television champion, co-holder of the tag team title belts, Lex Luger. However, a dark cloud... Uh, over this victory, I'd have to say here earlier tonight. You got that exactly right, Mean Gene. Jimmy Hart, we're finally out here by ourselves, and I've got some questions to ask you. I know all these fans do, and Stinger, I know you're out there sitting at home watching, and I know you're wondering about what's going on here, but this should be. I've had a lot of great moments, Gene, in my career. This should be one of the finest crystallizing moments of my career. I stand out here as World Tag Team Champion and the World TV title, which I just won tonight. And Stinger, I know you're happy for me. You're my best friend in the whole world. I know you know that I deserve this. But Jimmy, I go to the back and I found out that once again, you came down and you were involved. And I almost feel, even though I deserve this, that this whole thing's been tainted. You've been my shadow. You've been interfering between me and myself and Jimmy. Once and for all, Sting asked me, I gave my word, I gave him my promise, Stinger, it's you and me, aligned forever. And Jimmy, 
What is this about the fine print now? He's sitting home without a partner against the Road Warriors in a Chicago street fight because of the fine print in the contract. We've had an understanding up until now, Jimmy, but I don't understand. Explain this to me. Now what's going on, Jimmy Hart? Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're sitting out here now worrying about staying at home, worrying about how Lex Luger conducts himself with Jimmy Hart. Let me get this straight. After everything I've done for you, you're worried about poor old Sting now, who is left out to hang and dry in a Chicago street fight match by himself against the Road Warriors. If you recall, he's the one that opened his big, fat mouth that got you into the street fight match. I'm the one that got you out of it. That's fine, dude. He's the one that set it up. Why don't you shut up? Let me ask you one more thing, too, man. Let me get this straight. You're worried about your good old buddy Stinger because somebody might run and tell him that Jimmy Hart was hanging around ringside when you won the WCW TV title. Is that what you're worried about? I'm tired of explaining my success when you hanging around. Well, let me tell you something. Every time Jimmy Hart has been with you, Lex Luger, you've had nothing but success. Only good things have happened to you when Jimmy Hart has been with you. Where were you last week when that big old fat, ugly, sloppy Loch Ness came out here and blew his hot, stinky, bad, smelly breath in my face. Well, let me tell you something. You were nowhere around because Jimmy Hart was out here defending for himself and worrying about what the business I was going to take place up for Lex Luger. Well, let me tell you something, brother, and you can take this to the bank. Loch Ness, you threatened me last week. You wanted a match with the immortal Hulk Hogan in the Doomsday match? Well, let me tell you something, brother. You were in it, but I'm using my power of attorney, baby, and now you are out of it. Loch Ness, right now, baby. You know where he's at now? It's either Jimmy Hart's way or you hit the highway. He is in his U-Haul trailer heading back to Europe or anywhere he can get to. But now I've got some big news for you, Lex, baby. I've got some really big news. Yes, who is going to be, baby, going to be the fourth hey, 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 hey. You brought me all the way over the ocean. I do promise me a shot at the immortal Hulk Hogan. And you had me booked in the Doomsday match. And now you're going to replace me. Is that a replacement? Get out of here. Look, let's just shove Lex Luger down hard. What in the world is going on? Oh. Right, Gene Okerlund back on TBS with Tony Schiavone and the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. No main event, 6.05 tomorrow night on TBS. We will return a week from tomorrow night, myself and Bobby the Brain Heenan. Plus, don't forget, this Monday, 9 Eastern time on TNT, WCW Monday Nitro, it is going to be a barn burner live from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Attention hotline fans, we've been talking about it all day long. A major announcement this past week knocking the wrestling world on its backside. As the former world heavyweight champ has announced his retirement from wrestling. I'll tell you who it is and I'll tell you why some people are happy to see him go. I'm going to have that story and the one about a recent warrior sighting during my exclusive hotline report tonight at 1-900-909-9900. A buck 49 a minute. Kids, get your parents' permission before calling. But call right now for that inside story on the hotline. Ladies and gentlemen, the following feature contest is a special eight-man tag team contest. It is set for one fall. Introducing team number one first, from Glass Falls, New York, Hexar Jim Duggan. His partners, Marcus Bagwell and Scotty Riggs, the American Mills. And their tag team partners accompanied to the ring by the godfather of WCW, Teddy Long, from Paris Island, South Carolina, Sergeant Greg Pitbull Pitman. So we've got main event eight man tag. We've got Axel Jim Duggan, the American Males, and Sergeant Craig Pittman are in the ring. Let's see who their opponents are going to be. Jim Duggan very proudly waving old glory in the ring. Not sure the referee is. Randy Anderson. Teddy Long's at ringside waving uh, his um, army flag as well. We're going to be seeing who uh, 
the opponents are going to be for these four gentlemen. This is going to be explosive. Introducing team number two, accompanied to the ring by woman and Miss Elizabeth from Charlotte, North Carolina, the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. His partner from the state of Minnesota, the enforcer, Arn Anderson. Accompanied to the ring by the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, from the Iron Gates of Fate, the Taskmaster, and their partner from Scotland, Loch Ness. That is quite a scene, I must say. Miss Elizabeth. There seems to be no Loch Ness. So something's happened. But this uh, trio. Taskmaster mucking Hulk Hogan by taking off his jacket. Fair enough. There's no, yeah, there's no Loch Ness. Nothing's been mentioned yet. Woman and Miss Elizabeth are ringside with Jimmy Hart. Imagine these three gentlemen. I don't. They don't. Car, they probably don't need the Loch Ness. Match in its entirety after this timeout on Saturday night. It's brought to you by new Winter Fresh Gum from Wrigley for icy, cool breath that lasts. Back on Saturday night. Here so we've got Arn Anderson in the ring, going to get Sergeant Craig Pittman, Arn Anderson, black tights, white boots, Craig Pittman, uh, red t-shirt, camouflage, tights, black boots, and Anderson now clubber on Pittman against the ropes. Irish up by double A, reverse by Sergeant Craig Pittman, or oh, head to the uh, gut by Sergeant Craig Pittman. Picks up on, oh, no, just drops him in the corner, right hands by the American Mouse, right hand by Duggan, and a... Oh, overhead belly, a belly by Sergeant Craig Pittman. Good lord. And Anderson looking uh, bewildered in the corner. Tagging to Kevin Sullivan, yellow trunks, red boots. Kevin Sullivan in. Does he want some of Craig Pittman or not? Call number top coming up, maybe? No. They've been jostling. Oh, kicked by Pitt, uh, Taskmaster and a chop to the head. By Kevin Sullivan Rams Pittman, the head first at the top turnbuckle. Oh, ripping the shirt off Pittman now, chopping him away is Sullivan. Irish up corner, corner reversed by Sergeant Craig Pittman, who hip tosses Kevin Sullivan out the corner. Sergeant Craig Pittman now tagging in Marcus Bagwell, in comes Ric Flair. Ric Flair, green trunks, yellow boots. Marcus Alexander Bagwell, black tights, black boots. Can't never type. Flair pushes Bagwell into the corner. Clean break, no. Right hand blocked by Flair. Bagwell turns him into the corner. Now pummeling with left and right. Says Bagwell pummeling, pummel, pummel, pummel. Wow, well, a strip hard corner, corner. Big back body drop out of the corner comes Flair. Close line by Bagwell. Close line by Bagwell. Link comes Sullivan. Close line to Sullivan. Flair's getting uh, punched by Riggs and he's down. I've only sold that a bit too much. Oh, Flair's clotheslined over the top rope. And Anderson getting in the uh, face of Randy Anderson because of the over the top clothesline. Flair now coming back in the ring. And Anderson trying to distract Bagwell. Flair now big enough in the corner. Get a USA chant for seven men from the United States of America. Well done. <laughs> Arn Anderson back in there with Bagwell. Farm Dragon twist by Bagwell. Elbow to the arm. Tag into Scotty Riggs. Black tights, white boots coming in, working over the arm of Arn Anderson. Farm Dragon twist by Scotty Riggs now. Irish up now by Anderson though. Escapes. Riggs ducks the clothesline. Oh, crossbody by Riggs. One, two. One count, sorry. Farm Dragon Twist back into Art uh, Tag in the back into Bagwell. Still working over the arm of um, Arn Anderson. Farm Dragon Twist again. Oh, hair pull takedown by Arn Anderson. Taking a Ric Flair, World Heavyweight Champion. 
who comes in and immediately uh, backs off. Huffman, Jocelyn, try to go behind into a hammerlock. Scotty Riggs is tagged in. Flair releases the hold, in comes Scotty Riggs. Flair now with a kick to the gut. Full arm dragon twist by Flair. Flair, Scotty Riggs tags in Jim Duggan. Big old hacksaws in, blue tights, white boots. Crowd going bananas for Jim Duggan. Poke of the eye by Flair. Snapmare by Flair in the middle of the ring. Flair going up to the top rope. Duggan's back up to his feet. Catches Flair, catches Flair, and slams him off the top rope. Oh, Aaron Anderson, uh, sorry, Kevin Sullivan just got knocked off the top rope as well. Flair's in the corner, stumped by Hutt Duggan. Full arm dragon twist. Irish whip, Flair goes upside down over the top rope and knocked off the open by Scotty Riggs. Flair back on the outside, trying to get back in the ring. Flair rolls back in the ring, tags in Arn Anderson, back bag, Buff Bagwell's in there, or Max Alexander Bagwell, whatever you call him. Pummeling now by Bagwell, Irish whip by Bagwell. Oh! Picks up Anderson and drops him on the atomic drop knee. Go for the O'Connor roll. He gets it. One. No. Referee's being distracted. Oh, and Anderson uh, flings Bagwell over the top rope. Oh, Taskmaster now rams him into the uh, the little plinth by the edge of the ring where the cameramen stand. And Anderson now bringing Bagwell back into the ring. Front face lock now by Arn Anderson. Again, another USA chant for seven men from jolly old America. Referee being, dist referee being distracted. Bagel trying to get the tag, but the referee did not see. Referee cannot control seven men. If Gorilla One Soon was here, he'd be going mental. They'd be, they need to be two referees. They're taking advantage of Bag, Buff Bagwell here with the. Uh, oh, someone's coming. Oh, it comes the Giant. The Giant's now coming down to the ringside. Giant's got his eyes on Duggan. Giant is facing Duggan on Nitro this Monday. Yeah, he brought his plunder with him. He's getting it taped up right here. The Giant now making his way out there. Duggan. Duggan swings at the Giant over the top rope. The Giant just pulls him over the top rope. Giant's got Duggan by the goozle. Oh, big tape right hand by Duggan. Rocks the Giant. And again. Duggan ducks the right hand and... Oh, rocks the Giant again. Now, not taking him down the aisle way. These two men are brawling down the aisle way. We've got three on three action now. Flair still in control of the ring against Bagwell. Both men now battling through the mothership. Right hand by Flair in the corner on Bagwell. Oh, big knife is chopped there by Flair. Oh, reversed by uh, Bagwell. Bagwell's trying to fight back. Right by Flair, right by Bagwell. These two men are brawling. Oh, whoa, whoa. Left and right there by Bagwell. Puts Flair in the corner, whips him corner, corner. Irish whip. Oh, but Flair got the boot up as Bagwell's come running in. Flair grabs him by the tights, pulls him up. Irish up there by Flair. Bagwell ducks the clothesline. Clothesline by Bagwell, but both men down. Flair back up to his feet. Uh, no, falls down, but tags in Arn Anderson. And Scotty Riggs is tagged in. Scotty Riggs comes in over the top rope. Drop kick to Anderson. Drop kick to Sullivan. Drop kick to Flair. Big right hand to Anderson, big right hand to Sullivan, big right hand to Flair. Scotty Riggs is a hassle. Fire, baby. Big slam on Arn Anderson. Goes for cover, but Rick Flair's right behind him. Grabs him by the hair. Boop. Oh, no, blocks the hand. Pittman's in as well. Riggs with Anderson. Irish whip note reversed by Anderson. And Anderson. Spymaster! One, two, 
three. No one kicks out the spine buster. Your winners are match Rick Flair, Arn Anderson, and Tas. Oh, DDT by Arn Anderson and Max Bagwell. Oh, when Jimmy Hart is throwing straps in, a little prelude to what we're going to have live this Monday on Nitro. Lemon Jacks with straps over there about Nitro. I'm sure Hulk Hogan, the Macho Man, the Booty Man, has to be wondering about. We've got referees coming out now. Doug Dillinger being sent out as well. Yeah, they all going in there now. Somebody, this thing is broken loose here. Got a victory though by Ian Anderson. But let me tell you, the giant out here is still fighting out the back with that. So I'll give him, hey, they just nailed Doug Dillinger. They've just hit the head of security. Doug Dillinger's down. Doug Dillinger's down. Doug Dillinger's down. Incredible that they were brutally attacked. Doug they, Dillinger, security director like that, whipping people with straps. Man, that's got to be a fine index. Wow. It's, it's uncensored already. I'm taking my belt off. They come over this way. They'll be whipping on me. Wow. Wow. Monday Nitro, WCW oh TNT coming live from Winston Salem. All right. Three, let's take a look to wrap up a while. With well, right here, you see Doug and Doug crawled out there and got after the giant. And they commenced to fight themselves all the way out the back. I mean, they are still fighting out there. But inside, Ian Anderson, one more time now, gets him in a spot to pick him up. Boom, puts him away right here. And what transpired after this, my friends, you only see on Saturday night, the mothership right here, the strapping, the whipping, getting ready for TNT Nitro Monday night. Doug Dillinger's deal now, where's he at? And we still are not sure who the fourth man in this doomsday cage is. With that in mind, let's go to BG. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here. Gentlemen, you were totally out of control, totally out of line. Kevin Sullivan, keep your hands off me. Oh, it's real simple. Hogan, Savage, and Booty Man, if you needed visual aid for Monday night, you got it. Let us center and begin. It's real simple. We know who the fourth man is in the cage. And Luger, this message is for you. You're not fighting with us. You're fighting against whoa, us. Ho, ho, ho. Set it down here, Sullivan. This is not uncensored. This is not Monday Nitro. No scrap match was sanctioned for tonight, and hitting an official like Doug Dellinger will not be tolerated here. I just hung up with Vice President and General Counsel Nick Lambros. The stiffest fines in the history of WCW will be levied here tonight. It's about time. I thank you. You are. Keep your hands. You are going to get fined, too. Yes, Arn Anderson. Let me explain something to you, Jester. We got more money than we can ever spend in this lifetime, so pile it up. We sent a message. There hadn't been a man took a belt from me since I was five years old, and I knocked my old man's bridge out when he did it. So do you understand what I'm saying? It's called humiliation when you whip a man. You beat him like a child. That's humiliation. And gentlemen, Monday Night Show, the stakes just go up. You know, Ric Flair, you may not be buying around tonight. You're going to be a little letter in the pocketbook. Macho Man! How sweet she is! Yeah. Woo! Elizabeth Woman! The Enforcer! The Taskmaster! And Jimmy Hart! Monday Night Nitro! Rap! Violence! Lumberjack! What next? Three of the best! I guess three that will find out what it is to walk that long, immortal aisle. Nitro is just a start. John Spencer, get a woman! Get a woman! You are Our sick woman. people. I thank you very much. Ladies, you are not a lady. Perhaps that's an over overstated. Oh, hey, you better you keep your mouth shut! We're in with Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great one here on Saturday night. Fines unprecedented for Tony Schiavone, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Good night, everybody. So, listen, the temperature that is inside that your mouth. Shut your face. We have just watched. Come on, what are you doing? 
It's gone all stupid. We've just watched the 9th of March 1996 edition of WCW Saturday Night. Gary Jester, the lawyer, is Gary Jester, who's like involved in wrestling. I think he's like a local promoter for WCW. He works for WCW. He's like a name that you will hear in wrestling in like the mid 90s for WCW. He is a personality. Uh, he has a he is a thing to do with WCW. Um, so yeah, so that has been that. We've just watched the 9th of March 1996 WCW. WCW Saturday Night it was okay it's one of those ones where you get to like um, there's like eight or so segments in the match eight or so matches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. it's like you get to like match number five and there's still like an hour to go and you just like wonder what the fuck they're going to do obviously you've got ad breaks and that in there but it wasn't too bad it moved along considering there was no Nitro the previous Monday it sort of moved along nicely and obviously next week we'll see what happened to Nitro and we will continue the build towards uh, Uncensored in the Doomsday Cage match so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much as always for continued support don't forget to um, as like we said before subscribe if you haven't already to the place to be there's some fine content over there as there is the North South Connection as there is the Backbone Wrestling Network all three networks are full of some fantastic content you can also find some fantabulous content through our vantage, our vantage point Acid Wash Memories Greetings from Around Town Book in the Territory Stick to Wrestling John McAdam The Outdated Wrestling Hour Bob Smith and anything coming to you from the Wrestle Copia Network with the fine hard working Cleveland's own Ray Russell. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your continued support. Thank you very much to the fine folk of Macon, Georgia. Thank you very much to Tony Schiavone, Dusty Rhodes, and the rest of the WCW crew. And we will see you next time. <laughs>